Hi all, welcome to my channel Java Soul. In today's video, we are going to see scenario based top 5 uh, stream API programming and question. Before I start this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have already created multiple programming questions in the video. We'll provide link in the description. You can go and watch from there. Let's start this video. We'll see the first question, how to find an employee with third highest salary from list of employee. Now we'll see the next question, how to find an employee with third highest salary from list of employee. So first we need to convert list of employee into an stream. We'll call an stream function here and it will return an app stream of employee. Now we will call an assorted function. We'll sort with uh, salary and this will sort in a uh, assigning order comparator dot comparing int because um, the salary uh, type is an integer. We'll pass your salary. Then we'll call a reverse function which will reverse the order of uh, employee. Now it will change uh, from ascending order to descending order. So the top um, with the highest salary employee will come on a top. We'll call an skip function to skip first to record. Then we'll call a find function find first which will return an optional of type employee and then we call in get function to get an employee from an optional let's print this okay first Let's remove some of the record from here and just update this. So we do have uh, four records now. Let's run it. We'll see. So we are getting an employee with salary 60,000. If you observe here, we do have a two. Um, we, we do have an uh, employee Mohit with the salary 80,000, which will come in at first and then second will be in a 70,000 and we are skipping both, both of these record and then calling the find first so it will returns this employee with the name Riti with salary 60,000 now we'll see the next question how to find department wise highest salary employee using an stream API as you can see I have already created two um, list um, list of type employee, list of type department and these classes employee and department also created here as you can see uh, there are some properties in an employee name is salary and department ID inside in a department class having a two properties ID and name let's write a logic here first we need to call an stream function to get an stream from the list so that we can perform an operation on a stream then we'll call in collect function here we'll use a collector start grouping by because we need to group based on the department id so we'll call in a department id if you can see here it's returning in a map of type um, integer and value as in a list of employees so the key will be in a department ID and value will be in a, all the departments uh, corresponding to that uh, department. Sorry, all the employees corresponding to that department. But we need to get only the one employee or uh, the employee which having the um, highest salary. So we'll use collectors dot collecting and then function. And if you see here, accepts a two input um, first one is the downstream second one is a uh, function um, and the downstream basically works on the output of a uh, collectors other collectors okay other collector could be in a parent collector so this is what a collector collector start grouping by so we'll use here collector start max y okay and um, we want to get a max um, employee with the maximum salary so we'll use a salary here first we'll use a comparator dot 
comparing int because the type of the salary is int first will pass here salary second parameter will be an finisher function which works on the output of uh, final results of a um, downstream collector so if you can observe here this max by function is returning an optional of type employee we will use an optional uh, get function which will uh, return an uh, employee so it will return a map key will be of type an integer and value will be of type an employee max salary employee let's trade this we'll use we'll call an entry set function then we'll call an a stream we'll call an a for each function we can use lambda also we don't need to call stream here but for now we are using a stream <coughs> printf first one will be a department id department id s and second one will be a depart, uh, employee name basically key will be in a department id and value will be in a depart, um, department not in department name entry dot get key and entry dot get value let's run it if you can see here we are getting a higher salary employee in each department for the department id one we are getting an employee uh, Karthik here um, this car uh, employee with the name Karthik having this 60,000 salary which is more than 40,000 similar for others but there might be one scenario uh, in one department can have a more than one employee um, uh, with the highest salary so how do you implement that scenario okay let me add one more employee with the same name sorry with same salary as we know this finisher function is returning an employee from here so now what we will do instead of returning an, returning an employee we will return a list of employee so we'll first we'll validate uh, this employee of type sorry optional of type employee uh, is containing an employee with the maximum salary or not opt uh, opt dot is present okay if employee is present <coughs> then we will uh, call an stream function then we'll use a filter function so we'll call here uh, the department id and then we'll call our department id from an optional okay the second condition will check with maximum salary get salary if equals to equals to opt dot get dot get salary after filter we'll call in collect function and we'll returns list if 
optional employee is empty means it's it's not having an employee then we will return empty list collection start empty list okay now let's update this from employee to list of employee let's run it if you can see here uh, with department ID 1 we are getting a two employee now Ritika and Karthik okay with the salary 60,000 60,000 now we'll see the next question how to convert a list of employee into a map uh, the key will be an employee name and the value will be an employee object itself and also we have to handle a duplicate key first we'll call a stream function employee.stream now we'll call a collect function we will use collectors.toMap because we need to convert this list into a map So key will be an employee name. So we'll call a name function and a value will be an employee object itself. Now third parameter will be a merge function to handle a duplicate key. Old value comma new value and we will consider uh, a new value. And this will return a map key will be of type a string because the name is of type string in employee class if you can see here and value will be of type employee so we will use lambda to iterate over the map we'll call it for each here key will be an employee name so i'm just passing in a name and then a key and value will be an employee let's print this employee name An employee object itself and new line here name comma employee so I'm removing this one object and updating this as you can see here this is what an old object and this will be a new object so we should get ready with the salary 60,000 and we do have a two more objects with name Tom uh, let me update this we should get a Tom with the salary 45,000 let's run this okay for now I'm just commenting this piece of code if you can see here we are getting Riti with the salary 60,000 and Tom with the salary 45,000. Now we'll see the next question. How to sort array of string in a reverse order using an stream API? So first we need to convert this array into an stream. We'll call arrays.stream and we'll pass array as an input then we'll call an a sorted function to sort this array we'll use comparator dot reverse order to sort in a reverse order then we'll call a two array function to convert the system into an array and what type of array we want to return 
we want to return in string type of an array reversed array let's print this array start to string and we'll pass array okay now let's run it if you can see here this array is getting a um, reverse first coming pj tom ritika and then karthik now we'll see the fifth question how to find a common element from two array using an stream api let's create two array array one and initializing this array with some values like four six five seven and two and array two two nine one seven and six as you can see here there are some elements which are common in both the array so first we will use arrays.stream to get in a stream from the array and we'll pass array here because array is of type an int which is in a primitives so we need to call in a box function to convert into a wrapper class which is an integer to work with the stream now we'll call in a collect function and we'll get an a we'll call collectors dot to list and it will return a list list of type an integer now again we will call arrays dot stream to get a stream from array 2 and here also we need to call a box function because array 2 type is also in a primitives int so now we'll call in a filter and we'll filter only those elements which exist in a list one we'll use contains method of a list and then we'll call a collect function collectors dot to list it will return a list of type integer uh, common list let's print So you can see here we are getting a uh, list with the elements 2, 7, 6 which are common in both array. 2 is here, here is also 2, uh, 7 is here and 6, 6 also and they are in both edge. That's it for this video. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.